that's basically man. Um, this kid's definitely not one eight. Oh, 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 we gotta get fringes. Somebody get fringes. Okay, look. Check that out. Go ahead. Likewise, ye wives. Ooh. Hey, 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 you see he's red? The most high made man is red as hell. Right Damn, you see this guy? Hey, hey, now hey, that's Esau. Esau. Go ahead and read that. Oh, moly. You can't make this up. Right? Yeah, <laughs> hey, don't, 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 get, don't get simple. <laughs> Stay in order. Stay in order. Stay in order. Yeah, yeah. Keep moving. <laughs> Follow. All right? You stay watching, We tell them what e to do. Esau's we, drunk. We, hey, we don't deal with them. We tell <laughs> them what to do. We tell them to shut up. Esau's drunk. Bring it out. Yeah, yeah, Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. First Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Let's keep it. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, uh -huh. that if any obey not the word, they also may be without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives, while they behold your chaste conversation, coupled with fear, whose adorning, let it not be the outward adorning, of plaiting of the hair, of wearing gold, or putting on apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, and that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. So that's the kind of woman that's valuable to the most high. America taught you that when a man tell you to be quiet and let him be the leader, he's oppressing you. But really that's the role of the woman. Her humility is her ornament, right? That's the woman who is in the mold of what the most high has designed her to be. When you have to take on that masculine spirit and you gotta be out front and rah, rah, you're, that's getting out of the feminine frame. And, it, and then the Bible has a lot of punishments and prophecy that speaks to that. It's no humiliation in being feminine. That's what you are. Master that chamber. Men, we're not supposed to have a feminine side. Be a man. Master that chamber, right? Bring it up. Your woman wants to be led. She don't want you to, when she's coming with emotion, she don't want you to come and meet the emotion with emotion. And now y'all screaming about to tear each other's necks off. She's looking for you to be a man. And women, for you to have that happy marriage, that was talking about wives, because I'm sure uh, if, you, if, if you're if you not, the spirit you show me, you dealing with men, you're not a lesbian. So <laughs> you should be looking to be married, right? That's gonna make that happy marriage. When you know the role of a woman in a marriage and you submit to a righteous man. A righteous man, you ain't gotta tell him nothing. He know what he's supposed to be doing. That's, that's the, the hey, but, but it's a lot of work, brother. Number one, you gotta come on this side and be man enough to teach your people what they just learned. This brother had to study a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of information to be able to show them that. That's part of being a righteous man because he he not only has responsibility for himself, but for the nation. See what I'm saying? Because I'm an older brother. He, he could be doing a lot of things right now trying to enjoy himself, but he feels that responsibility. Like, I got to show sister Alfia what the Most High said because I want her to get the kingdom too. I want Darius to get the kingdom too. I want Marvin to get the king, you understand? Go ahead, bro. Slug it. No, that was it. That's basically you know, what you needed to know right there. Y'all got no questions? Sense. But check this out, though. Tattoos. I, I, I have a... Tattoos? How does he feel about tattoos? Let's, let's, get it. let's bring it out. Why he's getting that, read this. Uh, one and eight. It's the book of Zephaniah, chapter one and eight. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such that are clothed in strange apparel. See, she's seen me here no tattoos. She's like asking me. No, I don't have any either, but I oh, want to good, know because I want don't, to. Don't get none, but we gonna prove to you why. So you heard that, right? It said that in the day of the Most High sacrifice, he's gonna come back and punish the king's children that are uh, cloaked in strange apparel, right? So that means when Jesus come back, Matthew 10, 34 says he's not coming to send peace on earth, but a sword. Yeah. That means he's coming to kill people. He ain't coming to give out cotton candy and hugs like the Christian church tell you, right? Yeah. So the people he's coming to kill first is the people he spoke about in Zephaniah chapter one, verse eight. Yeah. The so-called black, Latino, and Native American Indians that are the 12 tribes of Israel, right? That are gonna be cloaked in strange apparel. So if you ain't got no dress on like you read in Deuteronomy 2 and five, right? You're an abomination to the Most High. All these dudes walking around here with dresses on in Atlanta, they ain't an abomination to the Most High. They off. They're going to get killed when the Most High comes back, right? They'll be found in the fence. They're going to be part of the two-thirds. And look at his sodomite coming with his flag, running a sprint. Man. Makes it manifest, see? Oh, hey, <laughs> Every time we say something, hey. the most high makes it manifest in front of me. I'll show you. Yeah. It's going to be dudes hey. like this that get destroyed. Hey, hey, you want to talk, talk about the Bible? 
He got earbuds in. He don't drink that <laughs> Hey, that's bull. That's <laughs> a man is running in Under Armour shorts <laughs> advertising himself. Hey, the Under Armour nationality. Boy, look like Borat. Huh? Very nice. I said the Under Armour nationality according to the Bible. God damn, every time he talks, right. stick, 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 stick around, stick around. They're gonna make one point, and we're gonna talk to y'all. Yeah, yeah. Don't go nowhere. We got one more point, and I'm gonna teach you who you are according to the scriptures, because the Christian church will not tell you, all right? So, you wanted to hear about tattoos, right? If they're lawful to the Bible, right? Because now you know you have to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, regardless of what your pastor tell you, because he's wrong, according to the words of Jesus and the Old Testament, right? So, two, uh, you're an Israelite. You gotta drop your nationality as an African American because you can't be from two places at the same time, right? When you right? fill out on tests, that's the only thing. You put, you put other. other. Oh, okay. And if they let you say what other is, Hebrew, Israelite. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's right. So, um, go ahead and get I'm, that. I'm, I'm gonna start at verse 27. Let's um, listen. And then we're gonna teach you your nationality according to the Bible. All right. Wait, what? All of you. Are you pointing at me? Everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> everybody. You have to know your nationality according right. to. What's your name? In order to make it to heaven. Me. You! I'm just standing here. Your name is not, I'm just standing here. <laughs> what is your name? And, and we gotta talk to you. We gotta talk to you. But we're gonna talk to them first. This is Leviticus 19 and 27. Let's bring it up, bring it up. I'm gonna start at 27. Listen good, listen good, brother. Ye shall not round the corner of your heads. Right? So that means you can't bulge your heads, right? Brothers walk around with bald heads, they gotta wear that George Jefferson. They, they gotta, gotta rock, rock that, that George Jefferson. Right? You understand? They have to rock the coat of They got to, okay? Uh, and brothers that rock it, they look <laughs> confident, right? <laughs> you gotta rock the coat of Sister, you see a brother with the George brother? Jefferson? You got to rock your coat and sack, bro. I, I, I have two questions. Hey, <laughs> hey, look, look, look. The yeah. hey, yeah. 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 most I did that. The most I did that. If you're a man of the most high, you got to just let that grow out a little bit. Like, you got to let it grow a little bit. You ain't got to show the coat and sack. Just let it grow out a little bit. Look, look, look. You got to let it have something up there. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> All right? Don't be, don't bald it. Don't put right, the razor right. to it. Right, 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 right. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So you can't shave into your beard. I ain't got a beard yet, right? But when I get it lined up, I can only line up what I have that's grown. The brother only lines up what he has that's grown. This brother needs to grow a beard. He can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> we all three in the same spot. But, but look, you see how we don't change our shape of our line? We make it neat. I'm in the middle of a shape up. I need another one. But I'm not going to come down and make the jaw, the jaw strap. I'm going to leave the natural line. Y'all understand? I never get a shape up. All right, yeah, because you, yeah. Let's leave that. Verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in thy flesh. Look, so no cuttings in the flesh. What what happens when you get a tattoo? Ain't they cutting you? Right? So so that's that's abomination to the most high. You gotta repent for that. If you don't repent, he's not gonna accept your body as a living sacrifice. You feel? Go ahead. For the dead, nor print any marks upon you. But the Christian church tell you all the laws are done away with. So you get all the tattoos you want. Tattoo your face, tattoo your butt. Get a tramp stamp, all that stuff. The Most High is gonna accept you as and you are. And then go twerk down the aisle during the sermon. Every time a camera's on you. Let's go down. Look, she know we telling the truth. Yeah. Hey, I don't do none of those things. I don't have none of those things. Right, but bet, bet, bet. you gotta do something, sister. You've been drinking. Yeah. Well, you yeah, I'm down here for the Super Bowl weekend. Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, I'm a working woman. I don't strip or nothing. I all right, that's good. good. You don't strip, that's but good. then what? I just look good. Okay. Now I got to see, man. Go ahead, now. Do y'all have any more questions? Because we need to teach them before they leave. Yeah. Weed. Weed. She asked about weed. We got to teach them right quick. Cause, cause she just said something you, that's going to cut the hell out of her. <laughs> she, she said, I know everything about the Bible, baby. You ain't got to see that. There you go, sis. Didn't we just teach you something about blonde hair? Yeah. She wearing blonde hair, but she know everything about the Bible. We ain't got to teach you that. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just here to listen. All right, so let's listen in. Let's I got a precept. First Somebody Timothy. give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Let's teach these people First what they First Timothy 2 and 9. Listen, sisters. Hey, uh, sister check us out on YouTube. Yes. Brother Darius. I got it. Shalom. Uh -huh. That means peace. 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 Okay, do I say something back though? I want to know you, what you I say. You say shallow one. Oh, shallow one. All right. Can't be beating up our brother, man. Beat up our brother. I'm sorry. Y'all come right. Look, this is what y'all do. Go like this. Come right here. Y'all come here. And. Ran. Ran. Ann and Ran? Yeah. And that's my sister. Yeah. And Coco. Coco. Come on, Coco. And what's your name, Ock? And Gino. Gino. What about you, brother? They don't want the Kodasat. 
Reese. 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 Bet, bet, bet. All right. Bet, bet. Uh, That's my hairstylist name. Reese. Listen good, sisters. Yeah. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame faces and sobriety, not with broided hair, gold pearls, or costly. Now, you gonna have your Israelite birthday right now, but you under the influence. That's why the Most High said, our women have to be sober and they gotta dress modest. He brought you before you drink too much though, cause I can tell your eyes ain't messed up. So that when you stand before the Lord, <laughs> you won't be able to remember this. You in the right spirit. She's trying to pull it together. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, she gonna remember this, she gonna remember this. <laughs> I promise you. Right, let's remember that, sis. Let's bring it up. All, all of this is for your husband. What? It, it ain't for the world. You acting like I'm naked. I, I'm fully dressed. You fully dressed, but we got to take... Just, just Deuteronomy chapter 28. You can do Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. It's girls out here. It's women out here. That's My naked, and I'm fully fucking drunk. No, you good, you good, you good. We not, we not. 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 Sister, what's your name again? Yeah. That's Coco. 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 You call yourself African American, right? Yeah. Can you be from two places at the same time? No, no, no. Um, no. So how can you be African and American? Then? Why did they just now give us that name in uh, 1982? Coco said what? <laughs> like, what? Coco said what? Confounded, right? <laughs> that just blew your mind. <laughs> You feel well, what I'm saying? Come on back up here. Come on back up here. You know what I'm saying? It's an obvious How can anybody be from two places at the same time? She don't want to be on camera. Don't scare her away. Okay. No, don't do that. We love that. Love. Check us out. Check us out. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. This is how you could be from two places at the same time, okay? Go ahead. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So look, this is God saying, well, this is Moses speaking through God, saying that if we didn't listen to all the laws, statutes, and commandments that he gave us that day, all these curses were going to come upon us and overtake us, right? So, well, uh, give me 68. Let's just jump to the point. This is one of the curses, all right? I'm going to show you where y'all come from. Actually, let's start at 54. I feel like somebody it's got the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 54. That's what I feel like. So that man that is tender among you. So look, all these curses gonna come upon us, right? Check out these curses. Go ahead. <laughs> so that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Come on. And toward the wife of his bosom. Uh-huh. And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. So look, anybody here grew up in a single parent household? So you watch this dude. Uh -huh. No? You keep looking at your All y'all had your pops in your life? Yeah. Good, that's a blessing, no. right? But do you know people? That's your skin color, that's your people that grew up in a single parent household. Yeah. You do? It's a lot of our people, right? Uh -huh. So so the reason why is because... Oh. Sorry guys, we're leaving. Oh, they dip we just I don't want to leave, but she don't I swear to God, salute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sister. Hold on, sister. I'm sorry. It's alright, it's alright. Listen, listen, this is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. You are a daughter of Zion. You're not black. You're an Israelite. Our Israelite women are precious Jews. You, 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 you have to believe in your spirit that you are a precious Jew and that what you have, nobody can see that. You got to hide that from the world. Don't give it to them for free. Make a man love you and earn that. Okay, sister? You understand that? your only chance to get into the kingdom of heaven. All right? Think about it. You're about to get left by the Think about it, sis. Oh, no, I'm not. All right, you're leaving him right now. I'm a All right, you're leaving him, though. Not all Israel is Israel, remember? When, you, when you're dealing with Eve like that, you cannot explain to her the curses to do the rhyme. You gotta go straight to it. You gotta stop doing this and get your mind right. But you see, that's when they stopped listening. As soon as you told her she can't drink, that's she why they was no brought one. up in. Most High gave you two examples. He gave you the one that's willing to listen, and then he brought you Eve that's worthy of rebuke. And then you just make I rebuke. don't wanna come over here. Yeah. Don't buy this jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Since you said, I come from Cleveland. And what the I hell does the Most High care about Cincinnati, man? I knew she was gonna say it. Come on, man. 
Give me a break. I'm here, I'm here for Super Bowl weekend. Give, give me a break. What is Jake doing? I just want to watch y'all here drunk. Right here. Yeah. Oh, oh man, listen, y'all. Hey, we need to talk to y'all. Come here, both you. Please, you and you. If they're trying to sing on me, I'll be because don't talk to me. Either. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll be because I'm gay. You gotta. We, I said we gotta talk to you. We ain't trying to talk to you about gay. shit. Why, why you gotta be so disrespectful? You wouldn't be like why that you if a white man asked to talk to you. You wouldn't like why that. Why, 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 why your pants so tight? Since man you wanna be disrespectful. Why your pants gotta be so tight? That man got damn Joyce Leslie pants on. Listen, man. Stop. you you why they gotta be disrespectful? Bobby, watch did it. I say I gotta talk to you or did I call him a faggot? Are you serious? No, 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 no. What? All I asked was to talk to you. All I asked was to talk to you. But your estrogen got in a bunch. Why man. you got so much nasal in your nose, bro? You know Blow why? your nose. Joel. The hell is wrong? Well, you, know. you know why they do that? Because they know what they doing is wrong. Wrong, they know. That's why they do that. Uh, did I no. call him uh, they I said, know. No, I just gotta talk to you. I was gonna ask them some questions. They you should have single me out. And because of it, I'm gay. Hey, 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 how I single you out if I ask for both of them? Right. I'm saying. <laughs> they know they wrong. They know. Man. That's cool. Hey, hey, you. Hey, you, come here. Sisters, y'all wanna hey. hear the word? Y'all wanna hear the Bible? Come here. Y'all yeah. yeah. ain't got no time for that. No time for Jesus. Today is your day. Come here. Okay, then. then come here. <laughs> It's, it's funny, but it ain't funny. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Right, is that a wig or that's your real hair? Hey, everybody take two steps back. Everybody take two steps back. Everybody breathe, everybody breathe. That's wild, yo. That's a demon. He ain't really gay, I don't think. All right, listen, listen, this listen. Right here. I don't know about the one with the listen. tight pants. Right? You think that dude's um, not gay with the pink jacket and the so, that's so, that's the so do about ginger hair? One of his um uh, he's uh, he's what's up, schizophrenic. What's up with this guy right here? Jacob, Jacob don't think on the video. He's a schizophrenic. One of his personalities is gay. It ain't really him. Demons, oh, man. <laughs> Spirits. <laughs> I'm telling you, yo. He ain't always like that. Bro, right? Eve was up here talking about she's not naked and everything's hanging out. And listen, man, why it's always Eve that ain't really got it all the way right? She wanna give you everything, man. She gotta cover that up, man. He's like that dude from the glass. The sister is drunk, okay? Oh, it's Super Bowl weekend. Did that mean you gotta get drunk and naked? Yeah, that's exactly what it means. That's what she was saying. You see her whole shape. And look, it's because I hit us naked. And look, don't, that, and I ain't even gonna talk too bad about the sister. She might, she might, somebody might be very happy with her. But come on, you can't be walking around looking like that. How, how you gonna find a brother that's right for you? It's really to exhort our women that, to look at themselves as special, you know? It's almost like they advertise their body, but it's like, no, you're more special than that. Your beauty shows through even in modest apparel. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm done. So it's funny, but it ain't funny. Ooh, somebody somebody got that mid. That ooh. Stop it. Ooh, <laughs> stop it. On camera. Somebody got that ooh, stop it. But it's funny, but it's not funny, because it's like, it, when the most high unleashes them cups of wrath, women like that, it's going to be a bad situation. And we teach that not to make you afraid, to exhort you. Sisters, when the judgment comes, you're going to get jacked up. Right now, in America, it's conducive for you to walk around half naked and parade yourself drinking and drunk like that. But when these curses finally get to the fill and that cup of wrath is filled to the top and the Most High starts pouring out that cup of indignation, women like that, you're going to see them screaming for help, man, and there's going to be no one to recover. The Bible says, strip you and make you bare. Um, tear the skirt and show the leg, you shameless daughters. So women that's moving like that, they're going to be ravished in that day. That's what the scriptures are saying, man. See, women got to understand, y'all is the number one spoil of war. Y'all the number one spoil of war. Before they go in the um, temple and take the gold and the precious item, items and artifacts, what the first thing they go? They run in the tents, man, and take the daughters, man. So, so you got to be modest. You got to. Our women have to learn that your beauty is not in showing everything you have. And when we finally can get them to do that, that's also gonna help recover the kingdom faster, right? Right now, they're just gallivanting around naked. She got them, um, romp, she got a romper on. And a romper is designed to show the movement of your body. You understand? And all you brothers, when she left, was like, wicked, 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 wicked. <laughs> Come on, don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. Tell that sister, like, hey, yo, sister, listen. 
beautiful sister. You don't gotta dress like that. You don't gotta dress. And then the one sister got the um the wig joint, and she got the blonde joint, but then she got the Moses right here, the, the Red Sea. <laughs> because look, the mo go get the curses on the woman. As, uh, uh, get the curses on the sister. I said three. Get the curses on the sister. Real quick. Real quick. Hey Joe, we're about two inches apart though. Stay right here. Right. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. The red, the, the staff, right there. Isaiah 3, man. Because it's funny, but it's not funny. <laughs> okay. Isaiah. That's Jacob. Right? Isaiah. That's Eve? What's going on? That's, That's Eve. Eve. You never know, man. You got to ask. Go ahead, read. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. Moreover, Yahweh said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. I'm from Cincinnati. I ain't come here for nobody <laughs> to judge me. You came from drink. Nigga, what, I, what's wrong with you? Right? That's that pride, man. Because okay. that shamefacedness that Peter was talking about, she'd have been like, oh, this is going to the men of the Lord. I know better than that. At least the one girl did to this one, you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You see the difference? Moreover, Yahweh said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty uh -huh. and walk with stretched forth necks. Yeah, like, uh-huh. Yeah, I tell you, you don't tell me. I'm just here to listen. Go ahead. And wanton eyes. Wanton eyes mean looking men all in their face with seduction. Go ahead. Walking and mincing as they go. Walking and, and, and talking and popping their gum and, and making sure you know that they in the building. Go ahead. And making a tingling with their feet. Yeah, doing too much. Come on. Therefore, Yahweh will smite with the scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. That's the ultimate judgment because most of the black women, if you talk to them, their self-esteem is tied into their head. Uh -huh. You think the most high don't know that? So I'm going to cut your pride down and I'm going to start with the top of your head. That's why I be teaching my sisters, your, your afro is beautiful. Facts. Rock your natural. Facts. Oh, you know, it's that it's that uncomfortable stage. Like, no, I actually like that. I want to touch right. it and smell all on right. it. Can you let that out? Yeah. Brothers, you got to enforce that. You got to push that on the women. Make, uh. They don't believe you when you say it. They don't believe you. When you say, I want to see your natural, nigga, you just saying that, and as soon as I do it, you're going to leave me. Like, they believe that in their minds. When, when she's in between hairstyles, and she's taking that weave out, run where she's at. Hey, go the way. <sighs> do stuff like that. Like, throw Eve way. off, man. Put your hands in it. You know, play right. with it. Hold her back and look at it. You know how good you look right now? Do that for her. Esau got her thinking that she got to put creamy crack and make it straight till it breaks off and she's bald right in the middle. Then she sew more hair in and this and the new growth get ripped out. It's, right. it's, a, it's a vicious cycle, man. It's funny, but it's not funny. That's why I'm, that's why I'm actually mad. Keep reading. Uh, and Yahweh will discover their secret parts. That's why she's standing in front of the camp with her whole chest out. Come on, man. That's why she's walking with flowy pants, showing the whole shape of her anatomy. That's Yahweh discovering her secret parts, man. And that's not to be adored, that's to be ashamed of. Y'all understand? So, so these women, man, brothers, we gotta do our part, but we can't play with them. We, 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 we cannot let them get away. When they out of order like that, you go straight to checking them. All right, that's it on that.